Hey, so it's just being reported now from Adam Schefter that Richard Sherman has reached an agreement with the 49ers on a three-year deal. He is a fit. Well, I can't say officially yet, uh, because March 14th, that's when the new year, the new league year starts. Uh, so teams can officially trade or sign anybody to the dotted line until March 14th at 4 p.m. But uh, it's being reported Richard Sherman's going to the 49ers. I think that's a great fit for him. He's a Cali guy. Um, it was also being reported that he wants to go to a team with a good quarterback. And seeing that the 49ers had a lot of cap space, they got a, they got, they just found their franchise quarterback. I think he's going to be great for years to come. Um, it seemed like a good fit. Now, I don't know about defensively their scheme, but they were getting better towards the end of the year. And if you look, since Jimmy Garoppolo got there, the defense actually started playing a lot better. Still has a lot to improve on, but that's what you got to draft for. And they'll probably make other moves. And with Sherman going there, maybe there's some some pieces that uh some other pieces that's out there in free agents free agency that uh might want to go there. So Richard Sherman coming off the Achilles injury, you know, a lot of teams weren't gonna throw him too much money. And a guy of his talent, a guy who believes in himself as much as he does, he probably is going for the big bucks too. Um didn't re- I'm pretty sure he wanted longer than a three year deal. But uh, three years pretty good it's for a guy coming off a Kelly's injury. He was thirty years old, or I think he's turning thirty. Whatever it is, I think I think he actually is thirty right now. So coming off the Kelly's injury, great great pickup for him. Um, I don't think uh, if I had to guess, I'd say he's probably getting about ten to eleven years annually on this deal. I don't think most teams want to throw a guy at, at his age coming off a Kelly's injury too much money. So, uh. He found a great spot, a team that's rebuilding. He gets to stay in. He's a Cali boy, so he gets to stay on the West Coast. He was just in Seattle. It's not even too far of a trip if he if he still if his actual home is in Seattle. So um, gets to be by, gets to be by friends and family. Great signing for the 49ers. Now let's see if they draft another corner to pair with them. Because you guys know last year their corners were not good at all. Um, be interesting to see if they if they turn to a zone team now because Richard Sherman, of course, he's coming off the Achilles injury. I'm pretty sure he's going to lose a little athleticism and a little speed, and he wasn't a burner. So uh, they they go to a cover three. They find a nice little secondary, another corner to complement him, and a nice safety. We'll see we'll see how that turns out. So uh, good pickup for the 49ers, nonetheless. There were a few teams that uh, were hoping to get an uh, interview with Richard Sherman uh, among the teams. The Titans, the Lions, the Raiders, Texans, Bucks, and Packers. The 49ers got the first visit. And it was being reported also that it was most likely he was going to sign with the 49ers before he visited with any other team. But uh, I'm pretty sure the 49ers had the most cap space of any of those teams because they really don't have any franchise players on that team, on the 49ers. So uh, Titans, you got Mariota, you got Jarrell Casey, you got a few guys that's going to get paid. Um, I think... Uh, Mariota still on his rookie deal, but you know his contract's coming up. He's probably going to ask for big bucks, especially after getting a playoff win. Uh, the Lions, they just gave Matt Stafford a lot of money. Marvin Jones Jr., Golden Tate. Um, the Raiders, we, they spend the $10 million a year on a coach, man. What you think they're giving their players? Um, the Texans don't have a quarterback, so you got to eliminate them. And Derek Carr was kind of bad, too, last year. Uh, the Bucks, Jameis Winston's not really that good. Uh, then that's the East Coast team, and then the Packers got the quarterback. But uh, who really wants to play in that weather in Green Bay? So, uh, great, great pickup for the 49ers. Great find for Sherman, man. Hopefully, hopefully this turns out to be a good team. I'm low-key rooting for the 49ers as well, man. Um, I'm, I like Jimmy Garoppolo a lot, so I want to see him succeed. So, uh, you get a nice defense around him and find some other pieces on offense. With Kyle Shanahan, the offensive mastermind. So it could be a good team for years to come. So that's about it, man. Let me know what you guys think about this pickup. Also, they they get the 49ers had to get Sherman, man. Look what the Rams just did in that in that division. They picked up Marcus Peters and Tlaib. So um, they're, 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 it's going to be a fight, man. Let's see where, where Seattle goes as well because they're losing a lot of pieces. It's being, uh, Cam Chancellor might not play next year. They were talking about uh, – trading Earl Thomas if they got the right deal. So they gave away Michael Bennett. A lot of these guys are older too. So like the uh, Legion of Boom is no longer. And with that being said, man, definitely just uh, hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, man. I'm, I'm out. That's all I got to say. Peace.